This one is called Daddy's Day. Her hair was up in a ponytail and her favorite dress was tied with a bow. Today was Daddy's Day at school and she couldn't wait to go. But her mommy tried to tell her that she probably should stay home. Why the kids might not understand if she went to school all alone. But she was not afraid. She knew just what to say. What to tell her classmates and why he wasn't there today. But still her mother worried for her to face this day alone. And that was why once again she tried to keep her little daughter home. But the little girl went to school and eager to tell them all. About a dad she never sees and a dad who never calls. There were daddies along the wall in the back for everyone to meet. Children squirming impatiently and anxious in their seats. One by one, the teacher called a student from the class to introduce their daddy as the second slowly passed. At last, the teacher called her name and every child turned to stare. Each of them was searching for a man who wasn't there. Where's your daddy at, she heard a boy call out. She probably doesn't have one, another student dared to shout. And from somewhere near the back, she heard a daddy say, it looks like another deadbeat dad that's too busy to waste his day. The words did not offend her. As she smiled up at her mom and looked back at her teacher, told her to go on. With hands behind her back, slowly she began to speak, and out from the mouth of a child came words incredibly unique. My daddy couldn't be here because he lives so far away, but I know he wishes he could be, since this is such a special day. And though you cannot meet him, I wanted you to know all about my daddy and how much he loves me so. He loved to tell me stories and he taught me to ride a bike. He surprised me with red roses and taught me to fly a kite. We used to share fudge sundaes and ice cream in a cone. And though you cannot see him, I'm not standing here alone. Because my daddy always is with me, even though we are apart. I know because he told me he'll forever be in my heart. With that, her little hand reached up and laid across her chest, feeling her own heartbeat beneath her favorite dress. And from somewhere in the crowd of dads, her mother stood in tears, proudly watching her daughter who was wise beyond her years. For she stood up for the love of man not in her life, doing what was best for her and doing what was right. When she dropped her hand back down, staring straight into the crowd, she finished with a voice so soft, but its message clear and loud. I love my daddy very much, for he's my shining star. And if he could, he'd be here. But heaven's just too far. Sometimes when I close my eyes, it's like he never went away. And then she closed her eyes and saw him there that day. And to her mother's amazement, she witnessed with surprise a room full of daddies and children all starting to close their eyes. Who knows what they saw before them and who knows what they felt inside. Perhaps for merely a second they saw him at her side. I know you're with me, Daddy. To the silence she called out. And what happened next made believers of those once filled with that. Not one in that room could explain it, 
Frisha's eyes had been closed. But there on the desk beside her was a fragrant long stemmed red rose. And the child was blessed, if only for a moment, by the love of her shining bright star, and given the gift of believing that heaven is never too far. <laughs>